Delighted you're able to come and spend some time with us. Uh, can I just tell you my aspiration is not to run the world's largest bank. Right? It is not my aspiration. My aspiration is to run the best bank in the UK. And uh, nothing to do with size, just the best one. Today, um, I'm going to spend time listening to you. And feel free to ask any questions you like about the bank. What should we be doing more of? Um, what should we be doing better? Uh, what should we be doing less of? And what things could we do differently? I think, to a certain extent, the bank needs to get out of the way of the businesses and support them mm. where they need support. Mm. It's about making sure that if there's a reason something has to be charged or a reason something has to be done, that it is done openly and transparently. So I think transparency on charging and letting customers know why they're getting charged that and being open and honest about it is a hallmark we should have. And I think this industry has been, not just us, but terrible at it. And we're just part of that. And we shouldn't hide behind that anymore. What you get and then what you pay, if you can't put it on the one piece of paper that people can understand easily, we've got a problem and we shouldn't be doing it. And can I say, I think the organisation has got very defensive about itself. I mean, if you're beaten up in the paper most days, you'd probably feel the way we feel, but, but we've got to step back from that and say, OK, open the organisation up. My own experience in trying to set up a business account, and mind you, I've been a personal banking client for, let me think, Hold more on, than 15 years. Go, so, go on, no, no, please tell so, me. I know what you're so about I'm to say. So being really honest here, but to set up a business account, oh. um, I was sent literally around in circles. I, I do this not because I don't want to listen to you, but I know I... We need to be a lot better. Watch the space over the next six to 12 months, please. Right, because we've just got to make the basics easier. And it's too hard. Uh, I have a passion for one of those, is just get the basics right. Stop messing people around. Thank you. We'll do more business. I tried to open up a second bank account for another business we had six months. And I didn't get it started. <laughs> I lost the opportunity. Um, and it's not my business relationship manager. There's something in the system. Mm. And the old-fashioned banking was all about your business relationship manager or your bank manager making decisions and having the authority to make decisions. Mm. Empower the people you have, mm. put the person behind it, double check the workload, mm. but understand that sometimes systems don't give you the answer that was mm. going to give you the right return. Mm. If I gave you more resource at the front to deal with customers, could you make more money? Because I'm very happy to spend the money on the front of our business with customers if it's going to make me money. I'm a business person like you are. You've got to have revenue generation, but a lot of our costs is old costs related to a big global group that we're not anymore, that we're a bank. We're too bureaucratic. We take too long. We don't actually focus on the customer's needs and these things around, why is it taking five or six months to open an account? This is simple stuff. Why isn't this minutes? Uh, a lot of these things I can take money out of will just take the bureaucracy away uh, because we need to streamline the process. So don't confuse when I talk about taking costs out with how do we serve customers. My view is you do both, you serve customers better and you strip a lot of costs out. So thanks for your time, really appreciate it. Um, some new things here for me, some reinforcements of some things we need to do, uh, can I say? Thank you very much, thank you.